I'm, uh, I'm uh, Jerry Bockley, and I am the uh, Chief of Genetic and Genomic Medicine um, here at uh, UPMC uh, Children's Hospital, and I direct a program called the Center for uh, Rare Disease Therapy. Uh, PKU is, is uh, one of the most common inborn errors of metabolism disorders in, in the body's biochemistry that, that, that lead to disease, uh, and it's been identified by newborn screening for um, oh, a little over 50 years now. Uh, Historically, PKU has been treated with diet. Uh, it is a disorder of protein uh, metabolism, and, and more, more, more specifically, it's, a, it's a, a, a defect in the metabolism of one of the amino acids that makes up protein, that is phenylalanine. Uh, in, in this condition, the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, or PAH, is deficient, um, and it uh, prevents phenylalanine from being um, uh, uh, metabolized into tyrosine. The, the, uh, the clinical defects then are related both to a deficiency of tyrosine in, in most cases, um, but, but uh, the, the, the worst problems are related to the accumulation of phenylalanine in the, blood, in the blood, which eventually accumulates in the brain and causes brain damage. Uh, untreated patients with PKU have a, a really horrible um, neurodevelopmental uh, uh, disorder. They, they essentially have no intellectual development, uh, and because of the role of tyrosine in, in uh, uh, subsequently um, making all of the um, neurotransmitters, uh, or many of the transmitters, neurotransmitters in the brain, uh, they also have a really bad movement disorder. Um, so newborn screening allows us to identify this at, at birth, uh, and and uh, the, 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 the treatment in those early years um, is, is typically diet, that is removing phenylalanine from the diet. Now you can't remove enough phenylalanine from the diet and still get enough protein to grow. Uh, and, and so uh, the, 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 the final combination is a reduced natural protein intake and then supplementation with medical food, a formula or, or other foods uh, that that are uh, 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 low or or deficient completely uh, in phenylalanine, and we balance the two to give the patient just enough phenylalanine to grow, but not so much to um, to uh, um, uh, uh, have excess, which then accumulates in the blood. More recently, a couple of drugs have been approved for. Uh, uh, helping with therapy in, in PKU. The first one is Sapriterin, or the, or the trade name for it is, uh, is Kuvan. Um, that's a small molecule uh, that is uh, uh, an analog of biopterin, which is the cofactor for PAH, a cofactor as a, as a chemical that's necessary for the enzyme to work. Um, so this molecule binds the enzyme, um, and in, in many cases, uh, it can stabilize mutant enzymes in patients with PKU and give them a little bit uh, more activity so that they can now uh, digest a little bit more of that phenylalanine that's accumulating. Um, it, it, it works uh, in a third to half of patients, but it doesn't typically uh, uh, normalize the, the, uh, the phenylalanine levels. Uh, and so patients uh, remain on a, on a, a phenylalanine-restricted diet for the, for the most part. Uh, a newer drug uh, called uh, pegvalease um, is, uh, is, is a, a replacement enzyme, or a substitute enzyme, actually, that gets injected subcutaneously, and um, it, it uh, can, can uh, uh, now uh, digest the fee that's in the blood and in theory can lower the phenylalanine uh, level uh, to uh, normal you know, e even in patients who don't respond to uh, Kuvan or, or have a very uh, the most severe uh, form of, of, the, uh, of, of the disease. Um, so that's been a real breakthrough. Um, the problem with it is that it's also a difficult therapy to, um, uh, to, to use. It's a subcutaneous injection. It can be anywhere from one to three uh, injections of two mLs of a very viscous uh, enzyme preparation. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and so that's difficult uh, in and of itself for some people. Uh, but then there's a, a fairly high incidence of allergic reaction to the, uh, uh, to the, to the, 
to the injections uh, that, that cause some folks to uh, uh, discontinue its, its, uh, its use. It's also not approved for use in children. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's formally approved by the FDA for ages 18 and up, and we can usually get approval off-label to use it for 16-year-olds, but, but it's pretty hard to go much below that. Um, so it leaves a big gap uh, below that range uh, for, for in, in kids who don't respond to Kuvan, uh, but can't use uh, Peg Valley Ace yet.